sur de España. English language service. Hello and a warm welcome to Madrid. I'm Alison Hughes. Our studio manager tonight is Miguel Angel Leon. Our newscast tonight focuses on unemployment in Spain and some of the court cases that have emerged as a result of the economic crisis here. Radio Exterior de España. The number of registered jobless in Spain rose in January as businesses laid off workers have been hired temporarily for the Christmas holiday season. Labor Ministry data showed that unemployment rose 2.4% or by 113,097 people. There are now 4.8 million people officially registered at the unemployment offices. The rise was the first since October, but the ministry also said it was the slowest January increase since 2000. 2007. Elena Delgado of the Labour Ministry also said that historically the month of January has always shown a rise in registered unemployment. En vez de subrayarse, por otra parte, el hecho de que en la serie histórica, todos los meses de enero se ha producido un incremento del paro registrado. Almost 100,000 people are laid off from the services sector, while employment also fell in agriculture by 8,110 people and in industry by 3,577. But recent stronger than expected economic growth has helped fuel hopes that the worst may be over. Spokesman for the governing popular party, Alfonso Alonso, wanted to put the best face on the latest figures, saying that the bleeding of job losses it stopped in 2003. We know that January is a bad month, but viewed from the perspective of this year, in fact, the bleeding of job losses has been stopped in 2013. And this is good, because the tendency we've had during all these years of crisis has been very negative, a constant bleeding. The opposition views the unemployment figures and the signs of economic growth in a different light. Carlos Martinez Gorrayan of the UPED party describes today's jobless figures as a confirmation that the government's labor reform has failed, despite what Prime Minister Rajoy says so proudly. Me parece que es evidente que son la certificación del fracaso de la reforma laboral, pese a lo que dice el gobierno y lo que dice Rajoy, que están tan orgullosos. José Luis Santella is the spokesman for the plural left in Parliament. The government's labor reform is showing that its aim isn't to create jobs, but rather to lay off workers to increase business profits. The spokeswoman for the Socialist Party, Saraya Rodriguez, referred to the Popular Party Convention this past weekend, during which the governing party celebrated what it considers its achievements over the past two years. I sincerely believe that these 113,000 persons who have joined the ranks of the jobless are 113,000 apologies that the Prime Minister Rajoy and his ministers owe to the country. After this weekend's shameful spectacle in which they spoke of about an imagined reality, they should apologize. And the 184,000 fewer people paying into the social security system, I think, are 184,000 reasons for the government to repeal its labor reform. Unemployment has soared higher in Spain than in any other European Union country except Greece since the decade-long property bubble and building boom burst six years ago. Last quarter closed with a jobless rate of more than 26%. The Spanish economy emerged from a two-year recession in the second half of last year, prompting many economists to raise their economic forecasts from the government to forecast debt job creation for 2014. But for many Spaniards, making ends meet remains a constant struggle. Jobs are scarce, and when they do become available, wages are often pathetically low. <laughs> The judge, whose probe of alleged financial misconduct made headlines last year, has been now suspended from Spain's judiciary. His alleged offense, according to prosecutors, he improperly sent a banker to jail. The judge, however, believes he's being punished because the banker is politically connected. The general counsel of judicial power has suspended Judge Elpidio José Silva, 
whom the Madrid Regional Supreme Court has accused of overstepping his authority by wrongfully arresting the banker, former Caja de Madrid chairman, Miguel Blesa. Judge Silva says the accusations are politically motivated and part of a wider pattern of obstruction of justice. Judge Silva